basketball coach Zach Spiker. The number 60 Black Knights will play number three American in the quarterfinal round of the tournament at 7.30 p.m. on Wednesday. Army is 12-17 and 17 overall and went 5-9 and nine in the Patriot League. Uh, coach Spiker, an opening statement, please. Uh, sure, no problem. Uh, first off, congratulations. Uh, I'd like to echo the sentiments of our other coaches. Um, to Bucknell uh, being the uh, top team in our league for the regular season. Uh, it speaks volumes to their depth and consistency, uh, as well as to all the individual award winners this season. Um, having had the opportunity to be uh, in this league for three years now, with this being my third year, uh, this is a terrific league um, that is filled with a number of student athletes that uh, compete very hard every day on the court to go at each other, but also handle themselves uh, with class and dignity, win or lose. And uh, I don't think that can always be said um, where you are in different situations, but I know in this league, um, all the players uh, represent themselves in the proper manner, and it's, uh, it's an honor to be in this league and begin to go against these coaches as well. All right, questions for Zach Spiker? Hey, Zach, Ken McMillan. Kenny, how are you? Good, Zach. Hey, Zach, uh, the, the last two times you played American, uh, it was really uh, kind of a defensive um, struggle at times. Um, you know, Americans seemed to put the clamps on you guys a bit. What did you learn from those two games and, uh, you know, how it might affect how you uh, uh, attack Wednesday's game? Well, I think, uh, you know, every game's an opportunity to learn something, whether you're playing, um, whether it's America or anyone else in the league. And, with our young team, um, I think we've made some tremendous progress this season throughout league play uh, moving forward in terms of uh, how our guys are reacting offensively when we have the ball um, to what the defense may take away and to give. And um, certainly there'll be some things that hopefully we can learn from the games um, that we played against American. As I'm sure that Coach Jones and his staff will be learning uh, about their team and what they can try and uh, capitalize on in this third match so um, you know it's a terrific opportunity we're very very excited for this for this game to go down to DC and play um, at American and uh, we're looking forward to it how important is it to sort of keep the uh, keep a close eye on Charles Hinkle oh he's a, he's a terrific player um, he's one of the best players in this league and uh, you know he, he puts you in uh, quite a predicament on defense uh, in terms of your approach and how you're going uh, to guard them and uh, he can do uh, as all as a number of our better players in the league can do they can they can score a number of different ways and uh, we've got to be ready to guard him uh, and, and at all times transition man uh, whatever defense we're in uh, we've got to be aware of where he is uh, unfortunately um, they're not in third place just because of the play of Charles Hinkle um, for us we've got to guard the other four guys on the court just as well and uh, they've got uh, the guy who uh, you know Troy Brewer who could light up at any minute for six threes uh, in a game which he did the first time we played them and uh, Daniel Munoz who had 10 assists he's had 16 assists in two games against us uh, how important is Josh Herbeck offensive approach yeah how, how important is Josh Herbeck to opening up in this game well I think Josh Herbeck's going to be important for all 40 minutes uh, when he's on the court um He's one of our better three-point shooters. Uh, I think from an IQ presence, um, he understands what we're trying to do as much as anybody in our program right now. And uh, you know, Josh is, is, is going to be important. He play well on both ends of the court. Last thing, can you address uh, Ella making the first team and uh, Max making the uh, ball rookie? Yeah, we're, we're very excited for those two guys to have those, to, to get those awards and reinforce um, what we as a staff have been preaching to them, and we believe in those guys. And uh, Ella Ellis has, has continued to work hard. Um, I think he's a very dangerous player, and uh, he's done a great job uh, being coachable this year and really has attacked the basket, um, either from three or getting to the rim. He's got to the foul line a great deal more this year, and uh, his game is, continues to evolve, and uh, we're excited um, that he'll be back uh, as a senior next year as well. Uh, for Max, um, you know, much of his season as a freshman can go up and down, as with any freshman in the league, especially in league plays. You get into the grind of February, and statistically, uh, you can look at his numbers. That's when he started to play his best, and he got more and more comfortable with what uh, was being required of him for this team to have success. And uh, you know, we're very proud of his development and the 
excited to coach him over the next three years. Any other questions for Zach Spiker? Hey Zach, one more question. Uh, do you feel as though you have this team right where you need them to be headed into the PL tournament? Because that's what you say every year is that this is, you know, you play for these three games in March. Well, I think this is the most exciting time of the year. Just, you know, I know that Ed Pichella said it early on there, but um, this is what we all live for. This is this is the March Madness. This is the beginning of it. Uh, what we would all like to be doing, and I'm sure everyone would agree with this, is you want to play your best basketball in March with a chance to advance. Um, I think we took a step forward Saturday, although the, the time of the total score did not add up in our favor. Um, for our young team, a number of freshmen, a number of guys getting real college experience for the first time this season to be playing on the court and to go to overtime with uh, with the player of the year and, and Lehigh um, should give our guys a boost of confidence and also um, a dose of reality that if we, can, if we do what we're capable of doing, that we can play with anybody in the league. And uh, I don't know if many people have given us a chance um, to win that game Saturday. Um, not many, according to uh, Ken Palm and his statistics. But, uh, you know, I think that's got to be something our guys understand, that uh, this time of year we want to be playing our best basketball. Certainly we there are a number of things we can do better, uh, but I thought our effort and uh, what was very good Saturday.